Hey Scorpio, I hope that you guys are doing great. I send you all much love and light and just want to say thank you for being back here with me for another one of your love readings and this energy is for September. So if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Lynn, this is Passionate Heart Tarot and let's get right into your love reading Scorpio. Let's see what messages we receive from Spirit. What is heading your way in September? How is your love life going to look? Um, before I begin your reading, just want to take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. Scorpio, let's see what energy is coming in for you guys for September. So Cancer's energy is here. I wonder if you guys have a Cancer on your mind or if you have cancer moon or rising i see the energy of starting to feel a lot better like the outlook that someone has on their love life you have this person that's coming your way that is very romantic and they might even their energy although they might be a man is kind of feminine and i don't say that um to imply anything negative it's all very positive because it's the energy of someone who is truly in touch with their masculine and feminine side so therefore this person is very sensitive they're a good listener yet they're strong they're a provider and it's someone who is looking for love and want and they know exactly what they want and once they see it they're gonna move very quickly um, to try to obtain this person, to get them to be theirs. I see where you're not gonna have just one option in the month ahead, Scorpio, because there's just so much energy here of romantic competition, but there is this one person that is gonna stand out from the rest. It's someone who's an incredibly good listener, and when you allow yourself to open up to this person, they have a way of like making you feel so much better. So you don't think about the pain that you went through before. I just see where this Three of Swords is coming in reverse. It's like a huge relief to your heart and your energy and in your emotion. And there is potential for things to move very quickly with this person. I see where they've gone through a lot. They have a lot of experiences and maybe they weren't always someone who took relationships seriously. Cause I just see where they've come a long way. They have, and I don't say that to put them down. It's just, it's to let you know how much they've matured. And where they stand now is someone who knows exactly what they want. There's a lot of potential for this person to be like that missing piece in your life. Because you guys, um, you might be very happy where you are. And some of you are thinking like, well, you know, I'm okay not being in a relationship, but it would be nice to have someone to talk to, someone to lean on. And that's what this person's energy is bringing towards you, Scorpio. A lot of relief and true balance. They've, they're doing quite well for themselves as well. So that's, since they're doing so well for themselves, it gives them that confidence in like, they're thinking, you know what? I want a person, I want a partner. I do see all of this romantic um, competition around you guys. So it's like having more than one option. Let's look, cause I, I just know that there is gonna be one that you choose, one that you end up with. 
And it's the person who shows you their soft side. It's this sensitive energy that's here. Let's look into this five. Oh, so this five of swords is flying out. What, what I'm gonna tell you, cause it's kind of like a little bit of a warning for someone here. And this energy of five, 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 is repeating that spirit letting us know that a big change is coming in so if you've been waiting for a special person for whoever it is that's watching this because i'm gonna like scold someone a little bit here right now um don't let your ego stand in the way or don't let like this level of really feeling yourself because that's just the energy that i see someone here doing um, maybe enjoying all of the energy that's coming their way and that's certainly okay to do but just be careful the way you're juggling people's hearts because there is a lot of romantic competition um, and inevitably someone is going to have to lose but there's just this energy of someone feeling like they made a mistake. I can see where there's a possibility of someone who might make the wrong choice and it's really based on their ego and it's really based on like all of the attention that they're getting that they're receiving so some of you might even be like on dating websites uh getting to know people talking to like multiple people that's why there's so much energy here of more than just one person and i know how that can definitely be like a huge ego boost to someone who sees that they have so many people that are interested in them so they might um you know, as they figure out who they want to be with, they might not do it in a delicate way. Because I just see the energy of hurting someone and feeling like it's a mistake later. That's why I'm like feeling like I have to scold someone here and just saying like, please don't let your ego get the best of you. Because I just see where someone's ego is in full force. And ultimately when they look back at this person that they let get away from them, they're gonna feel like it's a mistake. All right, you guys, so that's just a message um, that's here. And you also might start to see the synchronicities when you're around this person, the numbers repeating, your angel numbers. It's spirit letting you know that you're in the right direction, okay? Especially if like when you're talking to this person or like FaceTiming them, messaging them, you might look down at the clock and it's like 5.55. Or throughout the day, you see the synchronicities. It's just um, spirit letting you know you're on the right track and you might even want to look some of the numbers up and see what they actually mean. We already saw 555. So that is um, spirit letting you know like a big change is coming in. It's um, someone that you've, you've waited for, someone that you've wanted. So someone here, let's, get into this. let's take a look at this King of Cups because I do want to see more into this person's energy. I mean, it's beautiful. That's It's the message here with that King of Cups repeating for a, the potential for a very special connection if they don't let this person get away, if they're not too distracted by the attention that they're getting elsewhere. Because I'm telling you that attention from these other people is fleeting. It's just like um, people being in this energy of kind of feeding off of each other's affections and attentions. It's like not real, it's not sincere, but there is one who is very genuine. That's why this King of Cups is repeating its spirit, like emphasizing um, how sensitive this person is and how they are looking for love and how it is someone who is very in touch with their masculine and feminine side. So they're a good listener, they're very understanding and yet they're protective. So it's what I'm saying by that is it doesn't matter the gender of the kind of person that you're looking for. It's that this person is very well rounded and they have so many beautiful qualities. 
And I just know that if you were to give them a chance and, and focus on them, they're gonna bring a lot of love and light into your life. It's a very healing energy to see that Three of Swords come in reverse. Let's look into that. It's especially important for those of you that have been hurt and maybe you're alone and you're wondering if someone is gonna come your way. They are quickly, because that's why that chariot energy is here. So you might even want to take, for some of you, how I don't know how comfortable you are with this, but you might wanna take a chance and start putting your toes in the water, so to speak, like of the whole dating pool, because I mean, there's just so many people that are gonna come your way. It's definitely more than one person that's interested in you. Um, and that's how you can kind of get the ball rolling because this person is out here looking and you might have to, you know, do something to open up that door. It could even be just changing your mindset of um, aligning with this person's energy. So maybe you can just um, end up meeting them when you're out and about, like living day to day. And for others of you who are more open to really putting yourself out there, it's not a bad time to create like a dating profile because I just see where there's this energy of um, lots of romance that you can draw your way, but you will have to be choosy. Because it, it, there is a lot of romance that will come in, but then um, that's when someone's ego starts to get the best of them. And this person might be kind of quiet. They might not be as loud as the others, as um, pushy as the others. They might not be as um, charming maybe as the others, Although they don't lack charm, it's just like this person has a quiet confidence. Okay, you guys, I want to look at this three of swords. So, so definitely know you have um, the energy of someone that would be a very dedicated and loving partner coming your way, Scorpio. Let's see. And this is just so much strong Pisces energy that's here. So again, you guys might have Pisces moon or rising or this person that you're dealing with might have that sun, moon, or rising in their chart. I can see where this person um, has the ability through just um, how genuine they are to take the other one out of this dark place, this place of confusion and feeling hurt and feeling like they don't really know which direction they're going in in their love life. You have someone that's coming your way that's going to give you that direction. But there's kind of like a test in it here for some of you on how to choose the right person and make the right choice. So what how you will pass that test is not choosing with your ego, choosing with um, your heart and head in balance. So that's what I can see. It's beautiful because I know that many of you are going to make the right choice. And there's others of you who might fall susceptible to like all of this flattery that's here, all of this attention that's here. So just be mindful of that energy. So certainly the way that you come across to others in the month ahead, Scorpio, is someone who is highly, highly attractive. And you just have um, people who want to get to know you, who, who will be very flattering towards you. Some might even be a, a little bit pushy. It's like a whole mix of different people. Let's look at this. Cancer's energy coming through. Sagittarius is here as well, you guys. So you might um, be dealing with a Sagittarius, have that moon or rising. This person might have that sun, moon or rising. To see this five of cups repeating again, it's like a it's like further emphasis on the need for someone to make a wise choice and not choose with their ego because they're going to feel like they made a mistake. 
if you, if you want someone who's going to come on really strong, that's not this person's energy, but it doesn't mean that they're not interested. They are interested. I know that some of you, though, might feel like they're not uh, compatible to you because of the way that you want them to maybe be more like aggressive in their pursuit. But that's just not this person's energy. And maybe it might be beneficial for some of you if you did um, take the time to get to know someone who's kind of opposite of you. Especially if you're more extroverted, this person is, is more introverted. They're more sensitive. They're more quiet. But they are doing quite well for themselves and they don't lack motivation, especially like in other aspects of their life, because they have a very creative energy a very confident energy. And they know what they want. That's that's important for you to know is that although this person might come across as not upfront as the others, maybe a little more shy than the others, this person is healthy and they have a healthy mindset, they have a healthy heart and they use the experiences that they've gone through um, to make sure that they don't keep repeating the same mistakes and choosing the wrong people. So you have someone here that's choosy. So I tell you that because they're not going to be someone who sticks around in a place where they feel like they're not being paid attention to. If they feel like there's too much romantic competition, this is a person who has a lot of confidence and they're not going to try and compete because they have their head on straight and they're looking for someone who's going to recognize everything that they bring to the table as soon as they bring it. So that's a very positive message because I know that many of you are looking for a person that's in this energy of wanting stability and that's what's coming your way. And unfortunately for others of you, I do see you being in this energy of like still playing the field because you kind of get caught up in how good it feels. But I just know where um, if you do let this person go, you might feel like it's a mistake later on. Maybe not right away because, um, you know, you'll have someone there that's paying attention to you, but like later on. So it's just important as you start um, putting yourself out there, getting to know new people, that you just pay attention to your ego, all right, Scorpio, you know, I don't say that to put any of you down. It's just like that's the message that is here. And sometimes there's a beautiful thing when you get into a relationship with someone who is different from you because you guys can really learn things from one another. It opens up new doors and it's almost like they fill in the missing pieces. You see, that's what this energy here is. So it's like what's missing in you, they might have it and vice versa. That is really like that Gemini energy, like that twin energy. So that's what you have coming in. Even though they're quiet, um, even though they might be more reserved, they certainly are very, very genuine. And they've made a lot of changes in their life. And they know what they want. They know what they're after. So it's very positive you're reading, Scorpio. Those of you that are looking to get into a new relationship... You definitely have a lot of options ahead of you and one that is a keeper. Because out of many, I just see where there's like this one genuine person that I would advise you to really invest your time with. Okay, Scorpio, I love you guys. I love you all so much. So that is what I have for you guys so far for September. You know, of course, I'll be back soon in a few days. If you guys are new here and you haven't already subscribed, or if you just keep watching the videos and haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And don't forget to like the video, comment, share, and I will talk to you guys soon.